Hello everyone, in this video we're going to go to Knott's Berry Farm because we just learned that Knott's is closing down three iconic rides permanently and we wanted to see them one last time and kind of document the area around Camp Snoopy before it gets its big overhaul. Are here at Camp Snoopy in Knott's Berry Farm. Camp Snoopy was an innovative new land that in 1983 opened. It was the first themed land in an amusement park that was dedicated just for children and so we're here today to celebrate that but we're also here to look at three attractions that are going to be unfortunately closing down today. It's going to be the Huff and Puff, the Sierra Trucking Company, and the Sierra Ferris Wheel. Those three rides are closing down today for the last time, so we're going to check them out one more time before they close down for the new renovations for 2024. Over here we have the Snoopy Camp Store with the wonderful Snoopy clock over here. I love how it has Snoopy's dish bowl is the timer on there. And then every hour and half hour, Woodstock there will chime the bell to let us know what time it is here at the Camp Snoopy Camp Store. And of course, the Snoopy Camp Store, you'll get all products related to Snoopy. Lots of cool stuff here today. If you look up when you're in this store, you'll see a model railroad track. There used to be a train that went around the store, but it doesn't go anymore. But if you look closely, you'll see it behind the cash register. As you can see, the expansion for Camp Snoopy in 2024 has already begun. Over here used to be the mail drop. That will come back i believe but it might be in a different location over here we have the flying ace where you too can be part of snoopy's fantastic french fighting force looks like they have french and german planes there fighting against the baron with snoopy over here is the grand sierra railroad the grand sierra railway which is what usually goes over here it's also slated as part of the renovations for 2024. And so they're going to get a new spiel. This is always a fun little train ride that goes around featuring the Snoopy characters. And here we are at the Huff and Puff. Today is going to be the last day for the Huff and Puff here. Opened in 1983. It was one of the original rides here at Camp Snoopy. It's a very innovative ride. As you can see here, it doesn't use any electronics. It's literally, you just hand push it. That lever pushes back and forth and you go around the track. I remember riding this thing back in 1983 myself. It's a classic ride. Sad that it's gonna be going. We are here at the High Sierra Ferris Wheel built by the Eli Bridge Company. It is also one of the Camp Snoopy original rides. Unfortunately, it's seen its wear and tear. It's been known as one of the scariest rides here in Knott's Berry Farm. If you've ever ride it, it's always interesting to know if you're going to tip over or not. But it is a fun ride that gives you good views. Unfortunately, it's getting a little bit old, and so today will be its last day here at Knott's Berry Farm. We are here at the Rocking Trucking Company ride. This ride is not a Camp Snoopy original. Unfortunately, this too will also be the last day for this ride as it is closing down as part of the renovations after this weekend. This ride is a very simple ride. It goes around a track and then comes back for one loop. If you want to see the original cars for this attraction, it used to be the classic car ride. Those cars are right now in Riverside, California as part of the Castle Park ride. Okay, that was fun having one last ride on the High Sierra Trucking Company ride. Closing for our new exciting adventure in 2024. Well, that is gonna do it for this video. Like I said, I just wanted to document these three rides that are going away. It's pretty normal for old rides to get replaced at amusement parks, so it's fun to document them when you can. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching, and we will see you later for more adventures.